All right, y'all, I'm telling my mom, first and foremost, call like my I ain't know we how about shimmy on shine, by shimmy like a quarter. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who grew up teach well. <clears throat> and I already shall know I'm to the elect. All right, the title of the lesson is going to be to teach. All right, and what it means to teach, okay? All right, and some scriptures to follow along with and will really be edified. Okay, so to teach, uh, the Webster's 1828 Dictionary says, um, <clears throat> it says here, to show maybe one of, maybe one, of one family, all implying sending, passing, communicating. Communicating is important. And rather leading or and drawing. All right, but <clears throat> uh, communicating is very important to understand and, and the concept of teaching because when you teach, you talk, you communicate. There's uh, people that's audio learners and there's visual learners, okay? And <clears throat> with having those those type of learners, you can have signs to communicate message and convey messages, and you can have words to communicate and convey messages. Okay, so it says here to instruct. It says to inform, to communicate to one another the knowledge of that which, it's like it, the knowledge of that of which he was before ignorant. Okay. And that's what the Lord has set up men to do out on the highways and byways, to teach, okay? The Lord has set up men to communicate unto us, starting off with the men of Great Millstone, the knowledge that we did not know of before we were ignorant, okay? Which made us ignorant, but the Lord has given men the ability to teach and communicate, whether it be an auditorial learner, an audio, an audio learner, or a visual learner, Okay? And they have the under, and the Lord has blessed me with the understanding to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's get some scriptures. This is Ezra 7 and 10. It's for Ezra, it says, For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of Yahweh and to do it and to teach in Israel, judge, ju in Israel statutes and judgments. Okay. All right, we can't only be a hearer of the word. We have to be a doer of the word also, right? Let's get that. I think that's how you spell it. Let's see. <clears throat> yep. So if we're teaching or we are hearing the words of Yahweh Shai by somebody teaching us, okay, uh, we expect them to be a doer of the words, okay? Of the, of the words of Yahweh Shemel Shai, as if we're out there speaking, uh, we should be doing what the word of the Lord is, okay? <clears throat> so this is James 1 and 23. For if, if, for if any be a hearer of the word and not, not a doer, he is like a man, uh, he is likened unto a man beholding his face in a looking glass, all right, looking in the mirror. For he beholds himself and goeth his his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. <clears throat> All right, so you can't you can't be a hearer of the word and not a doer. Uh, look, let me start up. It says, "But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves." Okay, so if we're teaching, okay, instructing, communicating to one another knowledge of that of that of which he was before ignorant if we're teaching individuals the names of the lord not to take the chip stop committing sin okay try your best to keep the laws even though you're not going to be justified by keeping the laws all right we're going to be justified by faith all right we should be believing believing and living those things okay because we don't want to be a hypocrite in the eyes of the lord <laughs> all right so just like ezra okay he 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 studied the law, okay, like you said, and he did it. This is Ezra, again, Ezra 7 and 10. He, for Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, Yahweh El Shai, and to do it, and to teach Israel in statutes and judgments, all right? And that's what the Lord God men on the highways and byways doing, okay? Teaching, okay? Um... Let me see. 
Psalms 25. All right, this is Psalms 25 and verse 4. It says, Show me thy ways, O Yahweh Shai, teach me thy paths. And the Lord teaches people his paths by the men and the men and brothers on the highways and byways. All right, that's if they're teaching the, the correct doctrine, okay? And Great Millstone has 100% truth, and they teach the correct doctrine, okay? It says, lead me in thy truth and teach me, <clears throat> for thou art the power of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day, all right? We have to be taught, all right? We have to be taught the names of the Lord in order to be calling on Yahweh by Shema Shai, because the scriptures say, uh, there is no, uh, uh, there is no salvation in, in any other name which is under heaven. All right, but you have to be taught those names. Yahweh by Shema Shai. It says, verse six: Remember, O Yahweh, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been even of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercies. Remember thou, me. For thy goodness sake, O Yahweh Shemal Shai. All right, we need the Lord to remember us for his goodness, man. All right, and his mercy. All right, because the Lord's going to be merciful to the elect, and you want to be a part of that. But nonetheless, we got to be taught the ways of the Lord. It says, yeah, uh, good and upright is the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai. Therefore, he will teach sinners in the way. All right, who is the sinners, man? These so-called Negro Latinos and Native American Indians, all right? <clears throat> and the ones that's going to come out of this darkness of the world, all right, are going to be the ones that listen to the teachers, okay? Again, to teach, it says to instruct, to inform, to communicate to one to another the knowledge of that of which he was before ignorant. <clears throat> all right? We were ignorant of the ways of the Lord. And we had to learn the ways of the Lord by teachers, okay? The men of Great Millstone, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, okay? All right. Uh, do, 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 do. This is Matthew 28. This is Matthew 28 and 19. It says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Father, and the Son, and, and the, of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. Now, lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. All right, so the Lord Yahweh Shai said himself that we need to go teach all the nations. Why all the nations? Because Israel is scattered amongst the nations. <coughs> But if we are teachers and are preachers or prophets of the words of Yahweh Shema Shai, then it's our responsibility to go out there and teach all nations. Because again, Israel is scattered throughout all the four corners of the globe. Okay, James 101 tells you that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is Jeremiah. I think it's one. This is Jeremiah 1 and 5, 4. It says, The word of Yahweh Bashim Shai came unto me, saying, Be Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And I, before thou camest out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. And what does a prophet do? Right? A prophet prophesies. It teaches the people. A prophet teaches the people the things that's going to come or said before. All right, it says right here, a spokesman, a speaker, a prophet, okay? Let's look at that word back here. All right, it says communicating, all right, to communicate with one another. So a prophet is somebody that teaches, that communicates, okay? They communicate. He communicates, okay? <clears throat> so the Lord, if the Lord made you to be a teacher and or a prophet, you get up there, you speak, you teach, you preach, you prophesy. You do the things that the Lord requires of you to do, right? This is uh, Jeremiah 1 and 6. Then said I, I, Yahweh power, behold, 
I cannot speak for I am a child, but Yahweh said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I send thee, and whatsoever I command you, where and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. And the Lord commands us to speak what it is that He wants us to speak when He put us out there on the highways and byways, and or when we make these videos. Okay. I have one more precept. <clears throat> This is Psalms 86 and 11. It says, Teach me thy way, O Yahweh Shemarashai. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. And that's what we are being taught out there. When we're out on the highways and byways, and that's what we are teaching. We are teaching the people to walk in the truth. And those that are going to do it are going to be the Israelites, the elect. And we also teaching them to fear the names of Yahweh Shem El Shai. All right. And that fear goes into respect. Okay. Because the Lord is very dangerous. All right. It says to be feared, to reverent, to revere. Okay. <coughs> because the Lord can kill you within a blink of an eye, less than that, you know? Quicker than that. Um the Lord, he he does, the scriptures say he creates good and evil, right? So you have you need to have respect for the Lord, okay? You have our Shabbat All right, because you see that He's putting people to death at a, at a high rate out here in the world. All right, the Lord could do that to you, to anybody, to me. But that's why we got to be taught the ways of the Lord, and we got to say say this in the prayer, man. Okay, teach teach me, Yahweh Shabbat Shai, to walk in Thy ways and unite my heart with to fear Thy name, because when you fear or you you fear somebody, you respect them. All right, but <clears throat> that's a quick little lesson on to teach. All right, Lord, will you edify to the next time? Shall